Core Type R team bringing us the latest and the greatest, and this is a beautiful arcade retro gaming emulation front end. This particular build is the Type R, which is over 200 gigabytes. It has all your consoles, your arcades, your handhelds, and some PC games. And we're adding even more packs onto this. We're going to add the PlayStation 3 pack, the pinball pack, as well as the Sega Model 3 pack. You're going to see here in a second, just looking in the background right now, these NES with the video titles are so cool on the front end. But here we have uh, Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze for Wii U running just great. And look at this. Another pack actually is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Yes, they do have a pack with that. Super easy drag and drop. Everything works with the Xbox 360 controller. Beautiful front end, optimized, even more themes. And so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. All right, the core will boot you into uh, arcade to start. Let's see if we can find the... Um... So first off, I got the new Sega ported collection. These are those Sega Model, th Model 2 ported games. If just a few games there. The other thing we added on was the Sega Model 3 pack. So you can go into here, and here's your Sega Model 3 games. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, Core is beautiful. You can really um, set this thing up any way you want. We'll go to Titan Settings. We can do an Atlas menu. We can do a Wheel menu, Video Wall. We can do a Titan menu. We can do big screen mode. We can do bottom list. We can do bottom wheel. We can do fan art on, gallery, kiosk, landscape. Look at that. Poster, Predator. Okay, Robocop, Sonic. Turn sound effects on and off. And then you have spin mode. Um, let's go back to uh, Atlas here. And it's that easy to jump between theme settings. It's very, very pretty. All right, so let's go back here. Let's go to, that's favorites, that's arcades, consoles. Um, I wanna look for PC. I think if we go to PC, games for PC, this is where we should see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There we go, it showed up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This is a little add-on pack I just downloaded to add on to my core. And as you see here, first, this is my first boot on this. You can see my pinball arcade here, and you can see all the cabinets. Let's go back. Let's um, go back again. Let's go to our settings here. Let's try a let's try something a little more fun. Let's try big screen, or I don't know if it's more fun, but just a little different. It reboots, and let's see what the pinball looks like now. Okay, so there you go. And then you move, and then it shows you the video of the pinball machine. A little tour, so pretty cool, right? Bone Busters, Dracula. Central Park, right? And then like consoles, for example, let's go back to consoles. Nintendo 64, and there you go. Tell me that's not beautiful with those HD photos. Oh yeah. It's really good. Conkers, look at that, nice. So the core team in the arts department, the blow your socks off department, still still going strong there. Here's all those new games we were just trying out. Oh, we gotta go to all games here. One out of ten. Okay. So here's your ten games with the pack. Pretty cool. Here's some gameplay of Tokyo Jungle, uh, where you're a beagle that attacks hyenas. But um, it's running good. You do need a dedicated graphic card for PS3.
So when I got to this particular part of the core type R, I just didn't say much and listened. So now we're looking at those Sega Model 2 games again. Sorry, I scrolled kind of fast the first time. Uh, you got quite a few games here, and they're all pre-set up, ready to go. So let's go ahead and try some of these games out. So I did stop and look around, and as you see here, you have Alex the Kid, the PC game. You also have Guacamelee. You have uh, like Raiden, a bunch of other classic PC games built on here as well. And then as far as the arcade games, as you see, you can use your Xbox controller or your keyboard. Keyboard, your paddles are your shift buttons left and right. Um, if you're using an Xbox controller, it's your triggers. And then shoot is either X on your controller or enter. And um, it works great. I love that it has the, the pinball machines already set up and optimized. Um, if the screen is running fast, make sure you have your ref refresh rate on your monitor set to, set to 60 hertz. Uh, mine was on 144 and it was kind of sped up. Once you fix that, you're, you're good to go. And remember, this is the community pack as well. So as you can see here, core type R at the top. I'm sorting by most downloaded. You can see that's their most popular build there. I mean, it's an amazing build. It gives you kind of an all-in-one, uh, a good broad from PlayStation 3 all the way down to handhelds, um, Nintendo, PlayStation, PSP, um, NES, SNES, Arcade, MAME, uh, Triforce, all kinds of stuff. And you can see here, if you like certain systems like Sega 32X or more arcade games or uh, more PC arcade games and or just more arcade games, you got Final Vendetta, Nintendo 64, Cave, PSP, uh, Wipeout Collection. Now, if you notice here, so I've, through my exploration, if it's by core, that means the core team tested it. It's highly tested. It works really well. If it's a community pack, they say, you know, just be wary. It's probably fine, but just know that this was a community built uh, build. Just like you see with uh, coin ops, you know, sometimes there's other people that throw out packs and it's not by the actual coin ops team. So they're considered unofficial packs. And, um, you know, I think a lot of developers for these different platforms have been a little bit more wary because if they can't put their stamp of approval on something, you know, they're just like, be careful. So, um, as you can see here, all kinds of packs. Um, you look at that. You even have uh, those of you looking for Shredder's Revenge PC game. Look no further. There it is. They have it. So I'm sure a lot of you are looking for Teasing Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. So there you have it. The core type R and all the packs. Over three pages worth of packs on their backups and growing. Um, more settings, more theme changes, more adjustments. Um, you know beautiful way to organize a nice little nested system there um, you can really go crazy you know PC games I'm sure they're over a hundred um, some of the consoles they have the full collections out there uh, everything from 1970s games to current games as we saw with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so thumbs up all around um, a lot of people ask me like which 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 uh, you know what do you go do you do you do this do you do coin ops you know it's all up to the user they each kind of have their own um, things that make them special 
And so I suggest you try them all out. You know, try the smaller builds out, see which one you like, see what you like working with, and then go from there. But there's definitely one to check out. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.